Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and we're going to look at stem and leaf plots today, and also how to find medians and ranges and quartiles within stem and leaf plots. So what is a stem and leaf plot? Basically, a stem and leaf plot is a way to visually show a list of numbers while you also know what those numbers are. All right, some different visual ways of displaying numbers, you don't see all of the, the actual values of the numbers. So let me show you an example of a stem and leaf plot. A stem and leaf plot will usually come with a key like this that tells us 5 on the left side and 2 on the right side means 52. So in other words, the numbers on the left side represent tens and the number on the right side represent ones. So this row is 41, 42, 43, and 45. The second row represents the numbers 52, 54, and 56, and so on. So that's basically what a stem and leaf plot is. When you're asked to make a stem and leaf plot, you'll be given a list of numbers, typically. And the first thing you want to do is put those numbers in order from least to greatest. Um, that, that tends to help. You don't really have to. You could just start by drawing out the numbers on the left in, from the tens column, like 1, 2, and 3, and 4, and then placing the numbers in. But you will have to get them in order eventually so that they look more like what you have here. This is our stem and leaf plot. Again, the numbers represented here in this row, 1 and 2, 1 on the left, 2 on the right, represents 12, 14, 15, 16, 23, 25, 25, 27, 36, and 48. Now, some things you can do with a stem and leaf plot now that you have them in order are that you can find the range. The range is just the difference between the maximum and the minimum values. So in this case, we have our maximum value, 48, and our minimum value of 12. We would take the maximum value of 48 minus 12 and get 36. That would be our range. We would say the range is 36. All right? In other words, there's a difference of 36 between the lowest number and the highest number. So if we were to practice with this one here, we would look at our numbers, say, OK, well, my largest number is here, and that's going to be 46. My smallest number I'll, is here, and that is 14. To find the range, I'm going to subtract and find that there's a range or a difference of 32. So in this case, I would say my range is 32. Again, the difference between the largest number and the smallest number, you take the largest number and subtract the smaller number, the smallest number. All right. The other thing you can do with a stem and leaf plot is divide the data into quartiles. Quartiles is just another way of saying you're dividing them into fourths or quarters, but a quartile is actually the number, the median, the number that's right in the middle of each. Um, and they divide each quarter. So first, you're going to find the median, or the very middle number. To do this, again, if you had just a list of numbers, you would have to put them in order. With a stem and leaf plot, we have the list of numbers put in order for us, so we just have to find the number that sits right in the middle. The first quartile, or Q1, as we're going to refer to it, is the middle of the lower half of numbers, not including the median. And, this, and the third quartile is the middle of the larger half, or the greater values, again, not including the median. I'll show you how to find those here. So in this, we're asked to find quartile 1 and quartile 3. First step is that we need to find the median. We can do this in a couple of different ways. We could grab our um, pencil and just start crossing off numbers, cross off the, the highest number and the lowest number, the second highest, the second lowest, the second, third, and third fourth here and fourth, fifth and fifth, we've crossed off five numbers that are in the lower part, 12, 14, 15, 16, and 23, and five from the higher, 48, 36, 32, 27, and 25, and we've identified the number in the middle. We could also just count and pick the number that's right directly in the middle, but that's going to be our median. So we've selected our median as being 25 represented by this number 5 that we've colored differently and 
the same color as the word median. So now that we've found the median, or the very middle of all the numbers, now we're in position where we can find the quartiles. So the lower quartile, or quartile 1, the number in the middle of the lower numbers. So I'm going to look at the numbers 12, 14, 15, 16, 23, and identify that 15 is the number directly in the middle. It has two that are lower than that number and two that are higher than that number. So it's nice, it's, it's right there. Number, this number 5 represents 15. For the third quartile, we're going to do the same thing that we did there. Um, we're going to look at the higher numbers, the numbers above the median, 25, 27, 32, 36, and 48. And we'll identify that 32 has two numbers higher than that and two numbers lower, or two numbers lower, yeah, inside of this stem and leaf plot. So quartile number three is represented by this number two, which represents, you know, the, the number 32. All right? So that's how we would find those quartiles. And then we can list what we've found. The median is 25, the first quartile is 15, the third quartile is 32. And that's how we would divide the numbers and find the quartiles. All right? So before you go, let's go ahead and practice. Where is the median of this stem and leaf plot? And for me personally, if you want to race trying to find it before I do, but what I try and do is to mark off the lowest and the highest and kind of work my way in. Lowest, highest, lowest, highest. The lowest one left, the highest one left. The lowest one left, the highest one left. And just kind of keep marking them off. It's one way of doing it so that we can get right to the very center of things. So our median in this case is going to be that represented by that number 9 out there, which is the number 29 in our stem and leaf plot. All right? So there's some practice finding the median in our stem and leaf plot. Remember, stem and leaf plot is just a tool. It's a way to display numbers visually. I hope that lesson's been helpful for you. Have a great day.